about to leave. We're on date night getting educated at the chocolate factory. I'm not really asking, we'll get away to a place where we don't know. Table of trade. Eight cocoa beans for a bunny rabbit. <laughs> what's, what's Anna say? A secret recipe. What does Anna say? Fifty years after 1657, so early 1700s, there was more than 2,000 chocolate houses. Is that a fact? No, seriously. I know. We'll have to figure that. I'm gonna Google it. <laughs> he is a hero to mankind. He made chocolate, chocolate bars, in eating form. I told Wally we should have another baby just to name it after him. <laughs> Cocoa for me first. Cool. I'll just be here on my throne. No worries. Oh, my yeah. If you haven't caught on yet. Sidewalks aren't a thing in Southeast Asia. <laughs> so we're walking. <laughs> we're walking. That was good. We bought too much chocolate. Got a lot of chocolate. Dark mm -hmm. chocolate. Um, we're heading up Love Lane to dinner. There's a holy guacamole Mexican place up here that has holy good reviews. Guacamole. <laughs> we're going to try that. Oh, yeah. Um, but we're having a... Hey, hey, hello. <laughs> hey, how's it going? Walking the dog. Walking the dog. <laughs> Um, we're having a bit of a dilemma. Just a little bit. Trying to figure out where the heck to go next. We're trying to figure out where to go. Not for dinner, but... Where to go go. Yeah, where to move to next. So, you can... If, you, if you've seen our um, budget video, you know that we're on... A budget. A, a tight, small budget. And we're having a really hard time. I've been... I've spent hours and hours yes. for a few weeks. Um, multiple days just like last weekend the whole weekend just researching the problem we're having is finding something that we can afford to get to we can afford to be at that we want to be at and that has Wi-Fi that will be strong enough for like to support video with no question it's a puzzle the three have to be man we really, Kai and Tay and Ab and I all want to go snorkeling. Then I found out that crocodile, saltwater crocodile attacks are like huge here in Indonesia, Sri Lanka, and India are like the four highest I'm in cool the world. With the water. Yeah, I'm cool with getting eaten by a crocodile. Like someone just got eaten two weeks ago. So I'm like, um, yeah, apparently really stay away from the rivers. So, anyways, we're going to keep heading to dinner. some Mexican food, holy guacamole. So, how does our dilemma affect you? Femi, <laughs> I can't work today that going there ain't got no good Wi-Fi. Gotta make sure everybody's happy. You know what I mean? That's what we're trying to do. It's the whole trifecta here. We gotta make sure we have the Wi-Fi. Gotta make sure we have accommodations that we can afford. We gotta make sure there's church, too. Yeah, no, that, we like to be in your church. That's a yeah. big part of our travels. Because so, so, it makes us feel like we're at home even though we're far away. I know. So, so many factors. It's like a puzzle. Yeah, definitely. I don't know. I'm like a little frustrated because people like keep telling us how like they're inspired by traveling on such a tight budget. Right. But yo, loud travel. Hold on, gotta wait. I'm sorry, but... Yeah, it's cool that we can make it happen, and you can make it happen. It's better sure. than it not happening at all. Exactly. But man, it would be nicer to have some money and not, like, it's limiting, and it is, like, ten times more research. Because if I could just look up, like, if we had 100, 150 budget a night, I've heard people say that, which blows my mind. I can't even fathom. Not I could us. find a place, like, in a second. Yeah. But it's trying to find somewhere $20, $30 a night. With, with the everything, wife, else, uh, everything else back that then, is like yes. so limiting. Yes. So it is a lot harder 
like I'm glad it can be inspiring, but man, it's rough. We're just gonna go ahead and just plate that for a minute and eat some tacos. Yeah, definitely. What'd you say? You want me to bless the food? Or you gonna bless the food? You bless the food. Amen. And she does all the research, you know. That's a travel agent extraordinaire. So. Oh. <laughs> Maybe we'll get some clarity after we eat that. The what? <laughs> How is it? Holy guacamole. That's some good guacamole. Yeah. Reggae, love, and harmony. Likes cool. the reggae. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. There's the monster. Oh, come on, I didn't even notice it. I look like just a bar to you. <laughs> I know. Uh-uh, that's suspect. <laughs> I don't know what I'm going to find in there. Unfortunately, we just figured out we think why it's called Love Lane. <laughs> Not so much about the love, but the love. I lost my date. So we actually, I just got a massage. He wouldn't get one. No, no, I'm good. Just if I get one. I don't nobody feeling me up like that. At 60 it's minutes, it was 58 ringgit, which I'll have to convert, but it's like 15 bucks, a little less. And I got 60 minute head, neck, and massage shoulders. It's good. Um, so now we are at the secret garden. Okay, so anyways, I was thinking though, a lot of people like in trying to do this planning of where to go next, we'll talk to people all the time and they're typically either single backpacker, traveler, or a couple, or they'll have a baby that's just like in their bed or whatever. So it's just really like two people yeah, still. Yeah. And they'll be like, oh no, such and such is so cheap. And then you're like, okay. And then you talk to them a little bit more and then you're like, okay, multiply it times six. And they're like, oh. Yeah. You know, so like people just don't think, and when you look up information online, it's just not geared towards hits. a family of six plus. So you have to multiply every time times six. So they're like, oh no, the flights are only 80. And you're like, yeah, times six. Like that's a good chunk of change mm -hmm. for us. And then we have to think about if we get a $70 flight or $80 flight or $50 flight, whatever, when we want to go to a country that doesn't have visas unless we're staying more than a couple months, which because it just adds up so much. Then we've got to think about, um, no, I know, we always got to think about Wi-Fi. But no, I'm just thinking about like the cost and have like the, oh. the implications of traveling on such a tight budget. Mm -hmm. Because it's like, okay, you got the flight times six. Oh, and then it's like, you have to like, before you commit to going there, she's like, if I'm like, oh, sweet, we can get to this place really cheap. Like at one mm -hmm. point we could get to Australia from here really cheap because it's winter there. Right. But then it's like, where do you go from there? Yeah. Yeah. Like you're like, oh, like I can get there for 300 bucks for the whole family. That's awesome. But then you're like, where yeah, else? but then a month later, where can you get from there? That's like, true. oh, it's 800 to the U.S. each mm -hmm. and 300 to get back to Asia. So you got to think like multiple steps ahead. So it just is like, like this chess. never ending like rabbit hole you go down when you start researching. So anyways, that's the conundrum of the moment. It's a conundrum. We're going to go, we're just going to go to the secret garden. Yeah. All right, we just walked in. There's like a little bit of food vendors. There's some little sculptures or statues. It looks like the beach area so you can take your pictures before it gets dark. Okay. And then there's this little tower. Ice cream. About to see the world in action. Yeah, we can be like with no distraction. Ah, we're here. Let's do it. Get away. This is what we waited for. Take my hand, we'll make it somehow. We can't miss out. Got fireworks? It's Tuesday night. Tuesday night in Penang. We do think it's the end of Ramadan though. Pretty sure. It's this week anyways. See the water right there? Water. Not looking back. Eyes on the freeway. Bonnie and Clyde. A classic cliche, we're on the run. This 
is what we waited for oh, yeah. Take my hand, we'll make it somehow We can't miss out <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> Ooh, the lightning's starting. There's lightning like every night here, still. All right, so we're home from our date night. Do do do. That's our a building. How are we doing? We actually didn't do a movie today. We didn't do a movie on date night, but it was still a good date. But we might sneak one tomorrow night because we're really cheap here <laughs> before Makai goes to Bangkok. So yeah, I'm gonna go up and do some editing. I'm gonna go work for a few hours. I really should I do some work. research because yeah. I have no idea where to go. No, I will work. I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to work. Put in some work. All right. We're going to work, 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 work. Tomorrow we have a primary activity. Going to hang out with the kids. Early in the morning. woo -hoo! Like all day, I think. And then we'll go to a movie tomorrow night. And then Kai heads off. I got to work. You got some work in between. And then Makai heads off to Bangkok. What's up? <laughs> okay. Um, oh, shoot. I should probably turn down our AC before we leave. We're just going down to the pool. The kids and Wally already went down, actually. Grab my sun walk and we will get out of here. It's funny that I feel like I have an update because we still don't have anything booked. Sorry, okay. It's so hot here and I'm really bad at drinking enough water. We um, we found this drink that's like a, kind of a Gatorade deal. It, it doesn't have all the sugar though, and it's carbonated and it tastes decent. And it has electrolytes, so I like to get us all to drink a little bit of that every week, a couple days, whatever, just because we sweat so much when we're outside and it's so hot here. And. I'm gonna get dehydrated. So we're in this high-rise complex that has security that you have to come through, but then all the apartments have these gates you can close and lock. And I'm gonna go downstairs. I'll see you in a minute. This is our lobby. I thought I'd just do a quick little tour, just tiny, but this is our lobby between our building and this other building. We have a little pool. The kids don't love it because well, you'll see when I show you the big pool, but I love it because it's um, usually a little bit cooler, the pool itself. So, anyways, off to the big pool. Okay, so we just walk this way. We're gonna go up the stairs. There's an elevator. We're gonna go up the stairs. I wouldn't want you guys to miss my heavy breathing, you know, let's so go up the stairs. So. Wally and I left you on our date night last week and we were trying, complaining, figuring out where to go. So I have, yes, like decision fatigue going on. And not only that, but like, unfortunately, so many of our friends, and then we've had a few too, are just having horrible Airbnb experiences. Sorry, Airbnb. Good thing we're not big enough for you guys to watch us. Um, or maybe I wish you were, so you might actually change. Basically, I personally think that they got too big. And this walk's kind of fun because you can see the ocean out of the windows. It's really pretty. Anyways, I think they got bigger than they could like continue to maintain the same quality control. So <sighs> that's stressful because I feel like we need to start finding other places to book through, to look, and trying to find something locally is best. It's what we want to do, and it's usually way cheaper. It's hard. It's for some places that don't really speak English. So, 
Okay. I'll show you this. Okay, this pool level. So, right now, we still don't know where we're going. We need to leave in a few weeks. Luckily, this place was open until, actually, until the date that we have to leave the country. So that kind of works out well. Here's pool, park. Beautiful, right? Then we've got it surrounded by all our big buildings. Jungle, lots of monkeys. We bring the kids down here pretty much every day. No superpower days. They don't apply at the pool. Yeah, they do. <laughs> I pause Ab on the slide. <laughs> Tell us what's happening. Today is superhero day. We made it up. What does that mean? Superpower day. You get to choose one superpower for the 13th of every month. Oh, and what's your superpower? I can pause time. And My superpower is I can um, in the touch people to do whatever I say. I can turn into an animal. What? Let's see. Turn to an animal. Turn to a fish kingston. You need to get in water. All right. I'm back. I found a friend. Yeah, we're back. <laughs> it's like date night all over. <laughs> date day. So I tried to use my force field. Apparently, I have two superpowers today. Yeah, the kids. Uh... Abby assigned me a force field power, so they're back there leaving us alone, apparently. So, uh... What's your superpower? I didn't tell them yours, though. It's, uh, mind control. That's what it is. <laughs> I thought it was just that they listen to you. I guess it's the yeah, same thing. Yeah, same thing. thing. <laughs> yeah, same thing. <laughs> kind of genius. Okay, um, probably won't hear me say that again, so. <laughs> Stop basking in it. Okay, I was telling them about how much I've still been researching since we last were talking to them on our date night. Conundrum. I wanted to tell them, one, how freaking frustrating it's been on Airbnb. So it's really important that he has good Wi-Fi and can he teach, wifi, yeah. right? So I send the places that look good and like we can afford them on Airbnb and that will fit us messages asking for the Wi-Fi speed. I send them, I am not kidding you, in three different countries, the last seven places, They've sent me the Wi-Fi speed, and then they've said, oh, but by the way, sorry, we had our price wrong, so we've adjusted it. And it's like way more. This last one was in um, Hoi An, Vietnam. Are you freaking kidding me? Listen to this, Vietnam. It now. went from 400 flat a month, which is cool. Yeah. Like re totally reasonable. It's mm -hmm. Vietnam. To 7,976 or something, 8,000 US dollars. Bananas. I'm like, I don't want to buy your hotel. I'm like, that's insane. So, anyways, I was super annoyed. Um, rightfully so, I think. Yeah, of uh, course. Annoyed. Who wouldn't be annoyed if the, you And just, just like, at a loss. Head. Like, okay, well, I've been trying to do this travel planning for like 60 hours now over the last month. And I'm yes. done. Like, I can't find anywhere. I yes. don't know what to do or where to go. Oh, we've been... We're back. And, um, we're going to talk about... YouTube. YouTube? Yeah. What are we going to talk about, about YouTube? Now, I think our daughters, Tay and Ash, should have their own gotcha channels. And Tay, man, is just amazing. So go to I thought you were going to say a mess. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, wifey. <laughs> oh, go play with the kids, dear. Bye. So, in conclusion... Oh my gosh! See, this is what I'm saying. My phone just flew off the selfie stick. You guys. If we just disappear, please come find our videos. Scroll to the very, 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 very bottom of our description box. And donate some money to our tech fund on PayPal because... Am I right? And donate to Av and Tay so that we can do van life. No, not that. Okay, we'll be back. <laughs> Hello, and we're back. And I'm Tamara, of course. Yes, and you know me. Wally.
Okay. Do you well, think David and Rav should have their own culture channel? Mm -mm, with me. You hear it here, folks. Mom! Mom! What? Do you know what I saw on YouTube? What? <laughs> Mom! <laughs> Mom, I just want to tell you something. Just real quick. Just real quick, Mom. Mom! <laughs> Oh, were you talking to Dad? Sorry. But I just wanted to tell you one thing. So, I was watching YouTube, and I saw this one video. Mom, Mom, do you know, do, 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 can I have chips? Go. I'm hungry. I'm hungry. Mom, that is not cute. Look at her. Look at her. Look at her. Ew. Ew. What is that called? What's the Abby dance? The Abby doodles. Alright, kick rocks, Mom. Oh, oh, it's about to pop out. See, oh, seriously, what are we going to do when this thing breaks? It's fallen like three times now. But I hate, like, constantly you know recording it. like this. We're still here in Penang for a few more weeks. A little bit more. We don't know for sure where we're going. We, Yeah, this, this is the hard part. Traveling. We need to just do a full video on why we're still traveling. Why are we still traveling? Do you guys want to know that? Like, why we're still traveling full time, how long we're going to, that kind of stuff? Let us know below, and we will film that next. Yes. Other than that, I think we're going to get this posted, and then we're going to post... Um, okay, seriously, though? Look how cute. Hey! Nice. <laughs> then we'll be posting Angkor Wat, and that is the other thing. That's the other thing we was going to catch you up on. So, because you know he's not filming any footage for us. So we sent Makai to Bangkok to hang out with some friends. He went on a hike with the youth from church, and he's seeing a girl. So yeah, he's having a good time. He's there for 12 days, getting some real world experience. He's staying with a young man from church, and uh, budgeting his money, and yeah. Kind of getting a taste of that single travel life yeah. a little bit. Yeah, doing good, getting his street food in, and having a really good time. So that we're excited to have him back. So that's what's going on there. Otherwise, Wally's getting a ton more classes, which is really great. Teaching and teaching and teaching. He had two days, we had 20 classes each. It was yeah. insane, like in a row, bananas. too. That was nuts. I was sitting down in the desk, and Tamara just passed me the food and water, and that was it. In between the five minute breaks, I was doing what I had to do. That was crazy. When we get an actual solution, we'll also include that. Don't forget to subscribe and comment below. Jump off for him. Mom, watch this. Ready? Mom, watch this. 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 Join us next time on the Wallace Reboot as we finish up our time in Penang and get ready to head to our next destination. We can't wait to show you our adventures we get up to in beautiful Bali. See you next time. All right, so, so real quick, I just had to go ahead and let you know that, uh, yeah, it's good night. We're ending date night. But don't forget to always, always, if stuff is looking wrong, if stuff ain't looking right, don't forget to reboot. All right, later.